Okay, what I've got here is just a hasty little video uh, to show you uh, my latest score, as I want to call it. Um, what I got here is a Norinco ATD, the automatic takedown, uh, 22 caliber rifle. Um, these were imported, uh, I guess, during the 80s and 90s until 1994 when they were banned. Uh, under the uh, Clinton assault rifle ban, so they uh, banned any importation of weapons from uh, China. This right here is a Browning uh, knockoff, basically a, uh, an exact replica of the Browning um, semi-automatic rifle um, in 22. This right here, I picked it up today off of uh, an arms list purchase for $125. Now, it does have a few issues with it, um, but for $125, I mean, I can't beat the price. I don't know what the guy was thinking when he sold this for $125, but uh, it uh, got my attention, and uh, I purchased one before a few years back for $175 for my dad. Um, this one is the same exact rifle, but I got it for 50 bucks less. All right, let's take it. Check it out. Okay, so I'm suspecting this rifle is uh, probably maybe a little over 20 years old, maybe 25 years old. Um, i got to check the serial numbers. Maybe I can come up with an exact date. But uh, as you can see here, it says uh, Norinco, China, caliber 22 long rifle. If we uh, turn this around, we can say that it was imported by Inter Arms uh, from Alexandria, Virginia and a model 22 ATD um, with the serial number that I'm going to uh, check out. Um, now let's go ahead and break this rifle down and make it a little bit smaller. If you uh, know anything about these rifles you know that it's a takedown rifle. It is a bottom eject feeding. So let's go ahead and uh, we've already loosened the, uh, the nut here and let's go ahead and break it apart. You gotta pull the bolt back just a little bit and the rifle does break apart into two pieces. Basically, it's a little packable gun. Um, we can look at some of the craftsmanship here. We've got some uh, etching. Uh, it's fairly crude. Uh, the woodwork, I see a minor blemish here. We've got a small crack. On this side, we have a little bit of wear. And I noticed why, because I did get a uh, 22 round stuck right in here, a little dummy round. And I did have to pry it up. So once I saw that, I immediately knew that there was some pry marks right here. So uh, once again, no no uh, big deal. Uh, the woodwork, it's got high gloss finish. It's got a little little rusting on here. Nothing that uh, if I wanted to uh, go ahead and re-blue it, could take care of. Um, I see that he did put a sling mount. Because on the front, there is a sling mount mounted here. No big deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that anyway. And I'll just put a new sling mount in there. Uh, once again, $125. If you uh, look them up on uh, Gunbroker, starting at $250 up to $500. So, uh, desirability of this uh, rifle. He did have a uh, Remington, an original Remington of the same model, but he wanted $275 for it. And, you know, once again, keeping within a, a, a moderate budget, you know, $125. I wasn't going to let this baby go. The funny story about this is, uh, I saw this uh, posted during uh, Super Bowl weekend, and it came up on Super Bowl Sunday while I was watching the game, and I uh, immediately contacted the guy, and didn't hear back from him for a while, so I was like, okay, maybe he's at a Super Bowl party. Didn't hear back from him for a day, another day, so I remailed him again. He had 10 rifles posted. Uh, if you know anything about arms list right now, the site is uh, horrible. They've redid it, and it's it's horrible. I don't know. And uh, his emails weren't going through. So I had posted a want ad, you know, for the guy to contact me who's selling it. So the other day he contacted me and said that, yeah, it was still for sale. Um, so uh, I met him today and I purchased it. And $125 is what I paid for this. Um, but it does, it's pretty decent shape, you know, and it could use a little reblowing. It's got a simple uh, post site. Looks like it's got a little, little shine to it up here. Uh, the bluing, there's no pitting, there's no rust, the, the bore is bright. It's got a little, little wear on the wood, but that's to be, you know, expected. Uh, once again, you know, I'm not buying a browning, so, uh, you know, I'm getting what I paid for, but once again, the price is uh, steel. The one that I brought my dad, it did not have a rear sight, 
and it was missing a small piece which is called the shell stop which presents the prevents the next round from going forward so I bought that off of a website uh, Numerich uh, and it cost me about ten dollars I think after shipping and was able to get it to my dad in California and he got the rifle working uh, with a little bit of work and uh, he refinished the stock and I just saw it here a few months back and uh, it looked pretty good but uh, now this one's mine so I'm gonna keep this one uh, maybe in the future I might re-blue it so but uh, I mean once again it'll take away from the original value um, let's go ahead and put it back together real quick all you're gonna do is just pull the bolt back it's gonna line up in there oh wait a minute oh yeah Try to do this while the camera's in the way. There we go. Go ahead, knock that back, get that fit in there, and go ahead and crank down that little nut. And there we go. We have our uh, ATD 22 caliber breakdown rifle. Uh, and one of the other reasons I bought this was, uh, as you anybody knows, we had a Supreme Court justice pass away, so uh, that's going to throw politics and uh, the courts into turmoil right now so if you are not stocking up if you are not buying ammo when you can afford it or buying firearms uh, I suggest you start doing that now because uh, right now the Supreme Court is a 4-4 uh, tie and your your president is gonna try to push through some uh, liberal so if you watch the news you know exactly what I'm talking about but uh, this is my latest purchase Norinco 22 ATD, $125. All right. Thanks for watching.